Okay, guys. I'm not going to there, but I mentioned the table. So. Let's have a look. Okay. A tiger. The point is heading towards him. A crane? Okay, so the crane's above. Tiger to the right. Sniffing. A dragon. Okay, guys, I get it. It's just the wee ball is pointing towards him, but that's the order. So to the right hand side there, it's the dragon's head, which means cranes at top, and all the rest. A turtle. Comside's private collection purchases since 1920. The catalogue for Sir Carmichael Clark's collection. I'll leave it there, guys, because I don't feel that I'll need that to get this open. Turtle. Dragon, the crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Yes, you have. And the crane is at the top. Which is why. The position of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. Yes, they are not. Which is why you'll face that way. You will now face this way. You face that way. You this way, and you just gotta I do that, followed by. Do, 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 do. to do that. What? Okay, that's there, that. Okay, you're there. That's a damn sure. That also means that you need to. What? You need to be there. Which means you need to get. Oh, yeah. That also means that you guys need to be. There we go. I think I had a bang. There we go. This is. This is interesting. Wait. Right. There's one missing. There's a key missing earlier. What it look like to me? Or is that a knife missing? So the murder is in this house. Ernest Luggan, MD, Brighton Cancer Institute, 201 Dusk Road, Brighton, Sussex. To Sir Carmichael Clark, MD, Comsite, Chester, Devon. Brighton, 1935, January the 5th. As a man of science, I owe it to you to be completely frank. Lady Clark, your wife is suffering from a generalized terminal cancer. I confess I didn't suspect anything like that during the first exams. But with the test results I have received today, there is unfortunately no place for doubt. I estimate that Lady Clark's life expectancy is no more than one year. Hospitalization would not help in her case, so I advise you to keep her at home and provide her with as much morphine as required to ease her last moments. Yours sincerely, Ernest Logan.
Here's Miss Gray. Sorry to keep you waiting. Shaking Lady off the Clark's dragon. condition requires regular care. I believe you want to ask me a few questions. Indeed, mademoiselle. This porcelain is remarkable. Is it old? It's about three centuries old, I believe. Wait, let me find the reference. She appears to be very flustered. Eh, uh, like she's crying. She's unable to hide her emotion, and her makeup has been disturbed. I think that this young woman has just been kissed. Here? Teapot with Black Dragon, Gangshi period, end of the 17th century. It is a rare piece with unusual colors. You have a good knowledge of art history. Acquired while working with Sir Carmichael. I used to help him manage his collection and choose his new acquisitions. Did you have a good relationship with your employer? He treated me well, and I am sorry for his death. Have you seen any strangers hanging around in the past few days? No. Nobody has been near Comside. Tell me what happened last night. After dinner? Well, I did some sewing, and then I went to bed. I was woken by the telephone at 11. I heard Franklin Clark speaking with the gardener. They left with some lanterns, and they found the body. Am I right thinking that something is going on between you and Franklin? How dare you ask me such a question? And you? How do you dare kiss your good friend in the house of a dead man? Mr. Poro, you are behaving despicably. Miss Gray, if I may be so bold, please do not take offense. My friend has rather unusual methods, but... Yes, I understand. I must rest. Earlier, you asked me to watch the living room door for you. I don't wish to be indiscreet, but sometimes a gentleman stumbles upon a secret without intending to. That is sometimes the case. And I saw Franklin Clark kissing Miss Gray at the foot of the stairs. Do you think this is a common occurrence? No, I saw emotion, intensity. I think it was their first kiss. Well done, mon ami. Well spotted. However, I don't think I completely understand this business. Why did Sir Carmichael not defend himself? He appeared to have been active and strong. The murderer did not give him a chance. Let us try and reconstruct the scene. I'm sorry, but we're already trying to construct the scene. Sir Clark is taking his customary walk. A killer is hiding behind a bush. Wait. The old man walks quietly along the gravel path. Sir Clark sees a shadow. No, Sir Clark was attacked by surprise. He could not see his assailant. No. Let us think again, mon cher. Sir 
Sir Clark is taking his customary walk. A killer is hiding behind a bush. Wait. The old man walks quietly along the gravel path. Admire. Then he turns towards the sea to gaze at it. That is when I strike. Right. The killer leaves his hiding place on the right hand side. He approaches silently over the grass. Kavroko, of course. Then he throws himself on his spray and cuts the poor man's throat. He then lays down the ABC before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, Monsha Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Oh, just a minute. I'm getting dressed. Mr. Kirst, have you recently returned from Churston? Uh, yes, yes. Indeed I have. Have you seen the papers? And to think that you might have rubbed shoulders with the killer. Imagine that. Mr. Cust, are you all right? You don't seem well. My apologies. My throat is burning. And my head feels heavy. It's ever since the war, you know. Since my injury, my head has never been the same. Oh. It's a pleasure to be with you again after all these years. I looked for a gift to thank you, and I found this propelling pencil. An authentic collector's item. You spoil me, mon ami. And you more so by sharing investigations. Do not underestimate the help you are to me, Hastings. Intellect is not everything. There is also goodwill, and you are not short of that. Later, I will ask you to help me tidy up the room and bring some chairs. Our guest will be here soon. Ah! Is Thora Grey coming? Naturally. She is a fascinating young woman, n'est-ce pas? Oh, come on, Poirot. I'm a married man. And Miss Grey has already been courted by Franklin Clark. Poirot, our guests will be here soon. We must prepare ourselves. I should take advantage of the silence to examine them. Observe. 